All right, this so far is the ultimate zombie apocalypse vehicle. Is it catching the pier on fire too? It is. Jesus Christ. What is going on right now? This whole pier is on fire. How do you even deal with this? Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the most ultimate zombie apocalypse vehicles in game. So I've always kind of wondered, what would it be like to have a zombie apocalypse in Los Santos? How would you be prepared and what vehicles would you need? Well, today we're going to be answering one of those problems. And solution number one, we have the Giga Horse from Mad Max. So although this is a Mad Max vehicle, wouldn't you want this in a zombie apocalypse? Let's just examine this right here. We've got our monster truck with some other cars stacked on top. If you had a buddy, he could be on the back riding the minigun. How epic would that be? And of course, we've got the flamethrowers coming out the side. This is absolutely incredible. What? A, oh, this is perfect. Just a bunch of parked cars. Let's see how effective this would actually be at catching stuff on fire. Are we going to see the results? I think it did. It did catch it on fire. Wow, so the flamethrower actually works. That is super cool. Take that, cop cars. Even though we probably wouldn't want to do that in a zombie apocalypse, but, uh, oh, that car is definitely on fire. Okay, so the flamethrowers definitely work. That is super cool. You know, whoa. Okay, yeah, flamethrowers definitely work. You know what we need to do? We need to test this in a more populated area to kind of simulate an actual zombie apocalypse. So let's go do that right now. So I figured this was more of an appropriate place, guys. Let's say we were trying to get some zombies on fire. This would be the way to do it. This would be the way to do it. Just run through them. Oh my god, it actually catches the people on fire too. This is brutal. This is brutal. Get out of the way. All right, this so far is the ultimate zombie apocalypse vehicle. Is it catching the pier on fire too? It is. Jesus Christ. What is going on right now? This whole pier is on fire. How do you even deal with this? Okay, safe to say this vehicle is incredible. This is awesome. Yo, taco stand guy. Or I guess that's a burger stand. But nonetheless, this is insane. Okay, this is some of the crazy madness, obviously, that you can do with this vehicle. This is nuts. Let's just say if I was in a zombie apocalypse, this is the sort of vehicle I would want. I would feel safe. I would feel secure. And I think I would make it through. But anyways, this is awesome. Let's keep it up, though, and check out some more vehicles. Okay, up next, I don't even know what to call this creation, but it's the Vapid Slam Van Custom that's been turned into an anti-zombie machine. Just on the back, you can see the razor blades. This police officer does not seem to be very happy with us, so we're going to go ahead and take off. You know what? We're protected from you, officer, so I don't know exactly why you're chasing me right now. All right, so now that we've got the police off us, look at this. It's got blades and knives and katanas sticking out of the wheels. And when I drive, they rotate. Look at that. That is incredible. Uh, let's kind of check out what we've got going on in the back. We've got a set of explosives, a mini gun. Uh, we've got an axe and a shovel just in case we got to bury some people. Mini gun on the driver's hand side. That is incredible. And on the front, we've got police riot shield gear. This is so awesome. You know what? We once again need to test this out on a real life situation. So I'm thinking we need to take this to an area with some population because as great as this is to drive around, you know, if we can't test this out against actual zombies, we're going to be in trouble. All right. So once again, we are back at the, the pier and let's actually check this out in first person. Let's see what this looks like because I bet we're just going to be able to mow people down, run them over. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. And in a zombie apocalypse, that's exactly what you would want to do. So this is nuts. Look at the effect this has. So this is crazy. Obviously, this would be kind of a smaller, more personal vehicle. I could see this being more practical, like you turn your pickup truck into this sort of killing machine. How epic would it be if you were to be able to actually use the minigun? I don't think you are able to, obviously. But this is awesome, and this would be maybe my go-to vehicle if I was in a pinch. Just wanted to grab a pickup truck, run it, and go. This is awesome. This is the Slam Van Anti-Zombie Vehicle. All right, boys, up next we got another zombie apocalypse vehicle. This one, I believe, is also from Mad Max. This is the drag truck. Look how insane this is. I don't even know what, like, object is on the back, but it's it looks extremely futuristic and crazy. Oh, fire department, we're definitely going to need you a little bit later, but this is nuts. I mean, obviously, you got the flames coming out of the exhaust. You've got the flames coming out of the back. I want to test to see if the flame coming out of the back can actually be used to blow something up. So let's try this right now. 
All right, so we're going to test it out on this truck right here, see if we can't light it on fire just to see the effectiveness of it. You never know. You might be in a pinch where you need to catch something on fire, and uh, this might be one of those circumstances. So let's see. Will that flame actually reach that? I don't think it... Whoa, okay. Yes, it will. Oh, my God. Okay, we flipped over. Jesus, that's not the result I was expecting, but... That guy seems kind of upset with what we've done. So anyways, I guess this is the drag truck from Mad Max. This one would still be pretty awesome. Uh, I would definitely feel safe in a zombie apocalypse with a vehicle like this. I don't think I would be fearing for my life much. I think those zombies would be running. And what's great about this is it kind of prevents the zombies from like climbing on your truck because of the flames. They couldn't get on through the back. They couldn't get on at the cab because of the flames coming out of the exhaust. So needless to say, this one would be pretty awesome. But anyways, let's move on and, of course, check out some more vehicles. Okay, up next, we've got a pretty simple vehicle. This is the Runner. So this would be like if you were trying to deliver supplies to one of your friends at another base or another location. You'd want a pretty speedy and quick bike that could get through nimble areas. And you can see this one has just been loaded with a, what looks to be a box of ammo and maybe some medical supplies or power tools or something like that. So this would be a pretty simple bike. If I were to make this one myself... I would maybe have like a submachine gun attached to the front, maybe like right there, so that if some zombies were coming at me, I could just like pop, pop, pop. I could pop them really quick. But ultimately, you'd want something really quick, really speedy. So this one is the rescue. And to go along with it, you'd want another vehicle by your side to protect you. Look how awesome this insurgent is. This is nuts. So this is, I don't even know how modified this is. Let's get out and check it out. So you can see it's got spikes coming out the wheels and knives and whatnot. On the front, we've got more like riot barricades and Mr. Raspberry Jam. Uh, okay, I don't know how you got there, but maybe you'll be able to protect us. Obviously, the insurgent comes fitted with the gun on top, so that's no problem there. Got some basic tools on the back. Let's go ahead and hop up, see what we can find inside. So medical supplies, we got water. Ammo. Uh, I'm not sure what's in that box. I'm sure more like uh, weapons or whatnot. Uh, tow hook on the back so that we could drag some people out if needed. Extra gasoline, spare tire. This is awesome. Now, this one is like the ultimate military zombie vehicle. Obviously, you've got the minigun on top. You've got all sorts of crazy things in the back. This is amazing. And this insurgent itself is pretty fast. Like, you can obviously see that this is a pretty speedy vehicle. So you'd be able to outrun a lot. You've obviously be able to cause and inflict a ton of damage right here. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Which one of these vehicles would you want by your side if you were to be in a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to hear from you guys because this could be obviously pretty interesting. This could be a crazy discussion. What if one day you need to make these tough decisions about what vehicle to select for the zombie apocalypse. This one is cracking my top one or two. I'm not gonna lie, I like the Mad Max Flames one, but this one is pretty epic also. All right, boys, and finally, last but not least, I think I've saved the best for last. Oh my God, this is incredible. Obviously, this is from Mad Max as well, the massive tanker truck. This is just huge. I, in fact, I can't even like zoom out enough to show you guys all of it in one shot. That's absolutely crazy. There we go. So this is just insane. It's like a, an 18-wheeler tanker truck with the insurgent on top with a bulldozer on front. And I don't even know what's going on in the back. But let's hop out for a real quick second. So it's the Phantom. This is just absolutely insane. We're at the airport right now, one of the most appropriate places. So two insurgents. You can see insurgent and insurgent up there. One of what looks to be like a train cart. Oh my god, this is just insane. You know what we've got to do with this? We've got to drive this around and see the destruction that it does. Another thing I just noticed is the BF injector that's on the back. Okay, did not expect that. So I'm wondering where we should take this because I don't think this is going to work on the pier. I don't think it's as uh, nimble as one would like, but this is absolutely... Oh, hold up. We have our first victim, boys. We have our first victim. I want to see what this does. Just the massive power it has. Okay. Yep. Okay. Safe to say that's a pretty effective vehicle. And if we were to run into some zombies, I think we would be okay too. I got it. I think I know the perfect location to test out this vehicle. And we're here, guys. Vespucci Beach. Is this going to be perfect or what? So not only are we going to get to get to destroy umbrellas, but... And for whatever reason, there's no water. But you know what? 
we can use this opportunity to just run people over and see what this looks like. You know what? Let's also take a look. Oh, my God. That is first person. Well, good luck ever seeing where you're going. Like, you can see the tiniest sliver. That's not effective at all. All right, so that's not going to work, but will work is third person where we can just run over anything and everything we want and go, uh-oh, we can't even turn this thing, though. I forgot I have a giant, massive 18-wheeler tank on the back. So anyways, guys, these are some of the best zombie apocalypse vehicles in GTA 5. Look at the destruction this thing causes. This is insane. Let me know, which vehicle would you like to have? There's some pros and some cons to each one. Like, this one would be great, don't get me wrong, but we're, oh my god, we almost flipped. But at the same rate, this is not the most agile of vehicles. Well, let's say you got in a pinch or a tight area. You know, how would you navigate this in, in tight places? So that's some things to think about. Definitely, this is not the most mobile of, uh, of vehicles. But let me know which one of these is your favorite in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to hear from you guys on that. If you did go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like rating. That would be awesome, too. And uh, also, subscribe if you guys are new or you want to see more videos and uh, live streams like this. So with all the way, guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.